education is inherently sensitive, it touches the hearts of the Malaysian populace and consciousness, is easily racialized, is easily linked to issues of religiosity. When we talk about this issue, and we have to be fair and honest, right? Where did the problem occur? What happened to our national schools? Why are there a lot of Chinese and Indians who will opt out from our national education curriculum and go for vernacular schools or private schools? Even middle-class Malay parents today are taking out their children from our national education curriculum and spending a lot more to go to private schools. I think it is because of the influence by the colonial educational system left by the British colonization. Besides that, we can learn about their own habits, cultures and languages from different races. It is also a way to protect culture cultivated throughout the years from pre-Malaya until today. In Malaysian diversity and equality coexist, the generation knows the importance of their history, cultures and language so that the multinational country with different races can learn from each other. We study the same languages such as Malay and English with the people from different races since we are small. First one, I think we can engage with students. Schools should re regularly allow students to give feedbacks and listen to them patiently. Other than that, communicate well with students, understand their needs and situation. And for the second one is identity source of deceptive fixturing. Improve the school equipment may let students have a more appropriate experience to look closer at their future career. So students can work more efficiently by carrying their tasks that require literacy and critical thinking. I think because religious education helps students, their personal development and supports understanding of the requiring spiritual, moral, social and cultural issues in their life. In addressing difficult issues, it provides students with the insight that can work to challenge stereotypes, promote cohesion, and tackle extremism. Other than that, uh, promoting religious education in school can let the student more understand other race, culture, and taboos, so they can get along well and respect each other. Finally, Education must be started at a young age, so the people earlier exposed in religion recognize their own religion and know how to respect other religion. Yes, because I think that respect in each other involves treating students politely. Tutors should carefully consider and give thoughtful replies to their ideas when they challenge the tutor's view. Um, and I also think that teachers can provide some feedbacks to the student. Uh, engage them in an active learning, individualize the learning to the personal needs of the student and make the learning more relevant. No, this is because some teachers might be racist and gender barriers in learning, such as assume their authorities by judging their races. Besides, I also think that it might be tempting to assume that your students share familiar life experience. Many students do not know how to avoid assumptions about students' background. Thus, this can be problematic since everyone's circumference are not the same. Lastly, I think that the populations may represent a greater variety of racial and economic background, as well as students' undefined gender identities. So, I don't think that students can get the fair education nowadays. Okay, the challenge posed by language liberalization is the need to communicate in a language other than our mother tongue. So, we must learn a language other than our mother tongue to be able to communicate. I think the challenges posed by language liberalization is that we may be losing the culture of our mother tongues. Because when we always speak in a language other than our mother tongue, in future, we will forget how to speak in our mother tongue. For example, Chinese who always speak English or Malay for a long time will forget to speak Mandarin in future. Next, we need to learn a new language. Losing motivation to learn another language most people will just stick to their own mother tongue because they feel hard to learn another language they can't understand. In my opinion, I think that was good because we are able to communicate with each other using different types of language without any gaps. Besides that, um, we can celebrate different types of festival together so that we can have more understanding among every clan in order to improve and tighten our relationships. Last but not least, we will also respect each other's culture 
so that we can avoid misunderstandings and achieve unity in nation to target all clans are Malaysian. Well, I think it's bad because uh, there was an incident that happened on the 13th of May that will make us forget about our broken relationship. Uh, on the other hand, I feel it was not fair to the, the other races because uh, they are controlled and they can't get a chance to choose what they want. And uh, another reason is because different ethnicities also has different le learning styles. And I feel that racist, racism is still an ongoing matter. For example, if you can't speak Malay, fluently, they will ridicule you. In this interview section, I can obtain the viewers' opinion with different angles and this information really help us for our studies. Through our analysis, we also know what strategies we must adopt to overcome challenges. We gain and learn a lot of additional knowledge about this research topic, such as the process of exploration and depend our understanding of the topic. In conclusion, I think there's many challenges and changes that we are facing nowadays. Thus, we must use some strategies to overcome the problems to build our unity nation.